most accurate in Central Kentucky. Thanks for staying with us. We're joined now by Chief Meteorologist Jason Myers. Now, you told us there would be rain today after that beautiful day yesterday. That's so nice. Not yeah. to bring, you know, not to bring <laughs> that back. Yeah. But it wasn't too bad. The rain hasn't been coming down hard enough, hopefully, to affect that flooding situation anymore. Yeah, and it's been very scattered. I mean, I've been looking at the airport to see just how much they're picking up because if we had enough today, it would actually be a record February as far as rainfall amounts. But so far, it's still the second wettest. February on record. As we look at live HD radar right now, most of the activity is relatively scattered, and we're going to continue to see these off and on showers as the evening progresses. So, for the most part, again, it's just going to be off and on with a shower activity. And as we put this in motion here through our time lapse, you can see most of that shower activity is moving to the east. And again, this is light rain at this time. We've so far have picked up a few hundredths of an inch to about a quarter of an inch, but a little rainy here from Mount Sterling to Owensville to Moorhead along I 64. I 75 right now, for the most part, it's dry, cloudy, maybe in the form more of a mist or a drizzle, though, even if you're not seeing the significant rain. And so far today, Madison County picked it up as well as Lincoln County, about a quarter of an inch, Mercer and Knox County, as well as for Rowan County, picking up about a tenth of an inch with a few hundredths of an inch at the Fayette County, Kentucky Mesonet site. Again, the airport only picking up three hundredths of an inch. So again, so far for today, it's rain included with this. Rainfall for February 2018 has been 10 and 11 hundredths of an inch, only one hundredth of an inch less than 1989's February, which is the wettest February on record so far. If we pick up additional rain, though, this evening before midnight, it could end up being at least tying or actually beating uh, 1989's number, and we could actually see today or at least this month being the wettest February on record. Flood watches remain in effect across southern Kentucky, even though not expecting any major flooding for this evening or tonight. Fort Banks Skyview, downtown area, East Main Street, a little wet outside. If you're heading out to the UK basketball game, the last home game of the season, and again, heading out to Rupp Arena, you'll be dealing with some wet roadways. Have some rain gear with you, but temperature wise, still above average. Temperatures outside right now in the mid 50s on average. It's been a little breezy though. Winds have been about 5 to 15 miles per hour, but those winds have also been out of the south. So if you're taking the dog for a walk this evening, or you're just going to be out and about around 8 o'clock, lower 50s, early tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. in the morning, lower 50s once again. So not a big drop with our temperatures overnight as warmer air continues to move in. We actually have a warm front to our south with a cold front to our west. So the actual cold Cold front will move through late tomorrow, and that will finally bring an end to the rain. Midnight tonight into our early morning hours, you can see we've got scattered showers staying around lower 50s to start off our Thursday morning. As the day goes on, more often on showers, there will be the possibility for some storms developing as we continue into our Thursday afternoon. But at this time, we're not anticipating severe weather. Highs around 60 degrees as we head into your Thursday afternoon. And then again, we'll start to dry out as we go overnight Thursday into our Friday morning with more sunshine here, but a cold start to Friday morning, lower 30s to start off your Friday morning, heading into your Friday afternoon, mostly sunny. High temperatures are back into the upper 40s for your Friday afternoon. For tonight, 51 degrees, scattered rain, cool tonight, steady breeze, have some rain gear if you're going to be out and about this evening or through the day on Thursday, more scattered showers, but also the possibility for a few storms with highs around 60 degrees. Also see some gusty winds at times up around 35 miles per hour. As that cold front moves through and then drier for your Friday could see just a spotty shower for far eastern Kentucky early Friday morning, but most of the day will include more sunshine and upper 40s for the weekend. Thankfully, it stays dry upper 40s to near 50 degrees throughout the weekend with a chance for a few more rain showers as we go into early next week. But overall, tomorrow is our warmest day of the seven day forecast. Amber.